K-4 graders. So today we're going to look at using the distributive property to help us with multiplication. This is a mental math strategy that you can use to help you figure out um, some of your multiplication problems. This is not, I will be honest, this is not the first strategy that I would choose to use personally. Um, I do think that there are easier strategies and we're going to be learning about those in some of our later videos, but I did want to make sure that I showed you this so that you understand how to do your lesson. Um, so this is using distributive property. Now the distributive property of multiplication says if I have four times, let's say 10 plus three, okay? If I have 4 times 10 plus 3, I'm going to distribute that 4 times to the 10 and the 4 times to the 3. So I would have the same, it would be the same thing as saying 4 times 10 plus 4 times 3. Okay, so that's what the distributive property is saying. That if you're multiplying, you're distributing it to everything that you're multiplying by. That's in the parentheses. Okay, so... Now let's look at something that's a little bit more of a bigger problem. If you had, let's say, 4 times um, 37, 4 times 37, there's a couple of different ways that you could do this. The way that I would personally choose to do this is I would look and say, well, 37 is the same thing as 30 plus 7. Okay, and so now I have to distribute my 4 times to the 30 and to the 7. So I would have 4 times 30 plus 4 times 7. All right, well, front end multiplication, 3 times 4 is 12 plus a 0. And then I'm going to add 28 because 4 times 7 is 28. So that would be 100. 48 and that's kind of oops sorry you can't see that that's kind of a, um, a good kind of mental math or a quick math strategy that you can use to do that another way um, that you can look at this is saying well 37 is really close to 40 okay so if I did 4 times 40 well what did I have to do to get up to 40 I had to add 3. So now I'm going to take away 3. Remember the, that um, computation that we learned in the last unit? Okay, so we would do minus 4 times 3. Okay, so I am, I added the 40, or er, to get to the 40, I added 3. So now I'm going to take away the 3 to get back to what the actual answer would be. And again, this strategy is, I feel, one of the more confusing strategies. If this strategy works for your brain, great, use it. That's absolutely fine. It's really funny. I was talking to my nieces in the car this summer, and what they were trying to figure out a multiplication problem. And my older niece, who is going into sixth grade, and then I have another niece going into fourth grade, and the older niece said, well, Auntie Christy, which way is the better way to multiply? I'm doing, you know, 45 times whatever. I don't remember what she was multiplying by. And I did it with the box method, which I'm going to show you guys in the later video. I did it with the box method where I did 45 times 6 plus 5 times 6. And then this is the answer I got. But Aaliyah, who's my other niece, did, she actually did this. She said, well, 45 is close to 50. And then so I did... Um, 6 times 50, and then I subtracted um, 30. I'm forgetting what numbers I'm using in my example. But then I did the subtraction to get to the actual answer. Um, and I was like, okay, well, they're both good strategies. You guys both got the right answer, so it doesn't really matter which strategy you use. And that's what I want you guys to remember as we're looking at all of these different strategies. As long as you're able to find the right answer, that's what's key. And as you're doing your math problems, if it tells you to use a specific strategy, but that's not a strategy that you really understand, you understand a different strategy better, use a strategy that you understand better. Just be sure to explain how you solved it. Okay, so if it tells you use the distributive property to solve and you're like, I really don't get the distributive property or use the um, computation to solve and you don't get computation, that's okay. 
As long as you understand how to find the right answer, that's what I'm looking for. But I need you to tell me how you got there. Okay, so as you're looking at, I know you will have see a test question. Um, you might see a quiz question where it says to use a specific strategy. I don't want you to stress out if you don't understand that strategy. I want you to use the strategy that you do understand and explain what you did. Okay, so just to finish solving this specific example, um, I would again do my front end estimation, so, or my front end multiplication rather, so that would be 160, and then I'm gonna subtract 12, and I would still get 148. So either way that I did this, you see I got the same answer. This works better for my brain personally, Maybe this works better for your brain. We're all different. We all think different, and that's why there's different strategies for us to be able to use. All right? I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you need help, always feel free to reach out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.